Hey guys, JD here with the Kawasaki Ultra LX. And today I'm gonna to be installing the Kawi Performance Thermal Barrier Intake Spacer. Now this spacer here is designed to decrease your intake temp by up to 20 degrees, which equates to more horsepower. I'm gonna show you how to get this installed and then we're gonna take the ski out on the water and see what kind of difference in performance it makes. So let's take a quick look at what's included with the kit. So you have your custom designed spacer right here. You can see it says Cowie Performance on it. We're gonna set that to the side. We have two nuts here. These are intended for to help you remove these uh, studs that go into the block there at the top. And here's your hardware kit. You've got your new stainless studs, as well as some washers and then some bolts for the bottom bolts that secure the intake manifold to the block. And then here's uh, two gaskets for that new spacer and your intake manifold. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so first we are going to loosen these hose clamps that connect the throttle body to the air box here. So once that's loose, we're then gonna get this zip tie here out of the way. Don't drop it in your bilge. We're just gonna move it out of the way. There's another zip tie right here. And now we're gonna disconnect this clip here. Very good. And uh, we're gonna pull our spark plug wires. Just as a side note, when you're pulling these out, do not pull them by the wire. I like to put my fingers like this and pull by the boot. So again, I'm not pulling it by the wire. I'm pulling it by the boot. And we're just gonna set these out of, this, out of the way right there. We've got these wraps right here. Unwrap these. We're gonna disconnect this white connector right here. And then this gray connector right here. All right, we're gonna set this out of the way. All right, so we're going to cut this zip tie right here. So we're now going to remove these eight millimeter bolts. All right. And then before pulling your fuel rail out, reach down and grab these spacers right here and set those aside. Next, we're going to remove this clip right here. All right, and we're gonna just push our harness down out of the way. We're gonna take our fuel rail and we're gonna set it down there out of the way as well. So here you can see our four acorn nuts and then we've got three bolts right here. So let's go and start taking these off. the way, the cheating way. All right, so everything's disconnected, so this manifold should now just uh, come right off. All right, so I've gone ahead and removed these two studs here. And now I'm gonna get this one out. I wanted just to show you how to do these um, on camera here. All right, so the kit from Cali Performance comes with these two 13 millimeter nuts. So what you're gonna need is one wrench and one socket. And what you're gonna do is hold the rear nut there with your wrench and then you're gonna go ahead and tighten those two together, just like that, all right? And then using the rear nut, okay, you're gonna go ahead and twist that nut counterclockwise. And these theoretically should come out fairly easily. And you can see that once you get that about halfway out, it should just unthread like that. 
And then what you're gonna do is grab your wrench and your socket and loosen these two jam nuts here so that you can get this out the rest of the way. All right, so we've got our manifold removed. I removed all the old gasket material. This is the old gasket. So you can see it's just a real thin, it's not real thick at all to provide any insulation. So with the Ultra LX here, Ultra 250, 260, STX 12F and 15F, you get a lot of heat transfer from this aluminum manifold from the block to this aluminum manifold. And that raises the temperature of the air charge going into the engine and actually kills horsepower. You'll note that the Ultra 310 and all the skis now have a resin intake manifold. Part of that is a cost measure, but the, but the other part of that is, is heat reduction. So by adding this spacer, uh, as I mentioned, you are going to reduce your intake charge by about 20 degrees. All right, so now we are ready to install our new studs. So these new studs from Cowie Performance are stainless steel. You can see they've got an Allen keyway right in the end there so you can thread them in. All right, so here's our anti-seize and here are our studs. A little bit of anti-seize to each of these studs. And again, these are only gonna go in the top here. We're gonna put them in by hand. All right, so we've applied anti-seize to each of those studs. I've got them just hand tight. We've gone ahead and cleaned up our manifold surface. You can see it's just bare aluminum. You shouldn't have uh, any old gasket material or anything on the engine there. And then we're gonna go ahead now and install our new gaskets. All right, so there's our first gasket in place. And now we're gonna put our thermal barrier in place. Cowie Performance, you want this logo facing out towards you. So that goes in like that. Again, this spacer is made in the USA, really high quality, really nice part. And you know, some people might say, okay, well, couldn't you just go and buy an intake manifold, a resin intake manifold from a 310 or, you know, the new 2023 plus ultra 160 and put it on this ski. And the answer is no, it will not fit. This one is uh, got a different throttle body. The, uh, the spacing is different. And um, at this moment in time, uh, there is not any adapter available to put that manifold on this ski or the Ultra 250, 260, STX 15 or 12F. Okay, so we've got our spacer. Then here is our other gasket that goes on the other side of our thermal barrier. And now it's time to put the intake manifold here back in place. Get that on the air box. And then those studs will line up just like that. All right, now we're gonna to torque all these acorn nuts to 14 foot-pounds. I'm gonna start with the ones in the center. Okay. Okay. All right, 18 foot-pounds. Okay. Okay, so now our Cali Performance Thermal Barrier is installed. And as I mentioned, this is designed to drop your intake charge by up to 20 degrees. And um, hopefully that will equate to more power. So now we're gonna get the ski all back together and fire it up, just make sure everything's okay. And then we're gonna get out on the water in my next video. Tighten up the throttle body. You could use a flathead or you could use a seven millimeter socket like this. Here is our rail. So what I'm gonna, what I like to do with this is take a little bit of grease, very little bit, all right, and put a bit on each of these boots. 
just to help facilitate that back in. But before we do that, we're gonna grab our harness here and you can see they're all ordered, right? So injector one, and then this rail is gonna go back in just like that. Don't drop the spacer into oblivion. Make sure to reconnect all the connectors into their proper coupling and add a little bit of dielectric or marine grease to each connector if necessary while reconnecting them. Then make sure to put all of the wires and cables back in their proper holders and route them exactly as they were in the stock configuration. Make sure to apply some grease to your spark plug boots as you reinstall them, making sure that each one is put in the correct place. So to give you guys a quick recap of what we've done, we removed our intake manifold. We extracted the top four studs here. These are the factory ones. We replaced those with slightly longer stainless steel studs. We then went through, uh, installed all of our, our new spacer and our new gaskets. We torqued our top acorn nuts here to 14 foot pounds and we tight tightened these larger bolts here to 18 foot pounds. We reinstalled all our connectors. We tightened our throttle body. We reinstalled our injector rail. We tightened up these two eight millimeter bolts there. Everything's reconnected. We added some marine grease to some of the clips where we felt we, where I felt that was necessary. And then, uh, yeah. So let's fire it up, fire her up and uh, make sure everything uh, is as intended. Special thank you to Cowie Performance for supporting JD's Waterworld and Kawasaki jet ski enthusiasts all over the world. For more information on Cowie Performance products and services, visit them online at cowieperformance.com. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more exclusive jet ski content only on JD's Waterworld.